if I'm looking at myself and I'm 14, I will say, you know, this is only once, just enjoy it. You know, it's not going to come back again. This is it. And uh, most probably I also will say that, you know, don't think about driving the car yet. Yeah. So it all will come and don't live in the future. Live now. Veronica Schelling, Head of Diversity. The variety on the topic that I'm not fixed on one task and I'm not fixed on one uh, issue that I'm managing. Uh, I like the variety and that's probably what keeps me going. Well, I have a special box on my Outlook, on my Microsoft Outlook, and it's actually called the positive box. And basically that's where all the thank you notes from my colleagues go into it. And I think that's the coolest part of my job. I get a lot of thank yous. You know, one has fantastic ideas and not always that everyone is excited about the ideas. And I think, um, you know, that's uh, probably one of the limitations of this position that you would need to push very often for the ideas. If I were to say to somebody what's the limitation to come onto the position would be um, if they did not have that experience, um, appreciating and enjoying uh, the, the diversities of people. Uh, this itself is a limitation to perform on the job. Well, Allianz is, is a surprise, I would say, because very often people expect a financial institution, which is you know, based in Germany, to be um, a, very much representing you know, just the German environment. Uh, but uh, for me, it was, it was always an international company. Diversity is about uh, differences in the workplace, and it's about recognizing that we have uh, people from all different backgrounds, but also with single dimensions of diversity, which we are born with, like age, gender, ethnicity, and so on. And uh, diversity has a very strong component, which is inclusion. And that is about you know, creating a work environment that is working for both or everyone at work, basically. And my job actually begins with looking at all these dimensions almost every day. So every hour I'm thinking about a new dimension. And also, you know, very actively talking to both my companies of Allianz, but also managers, employees, and finding out where are we making progress, uh, what should we be doing differently, and so on. But also, we also implement very specific programs. So, for example, we have a sponsorship program for women, which we are driving. Uh, we have uh, different uh, projects that are running for inclusion of you know, interns with disability, for example. Uh, we look into um, LGBT networks. And then on the other hand, we also have scorecards that we are monitoring. And so I'm looking at all of this more or less on a daily basis. A typical day thing would be um, I'll be on a conference call with a company of Allianz, and we will be looking through diversity plans and discussing about it. Uh, another day I would be, uh, for example, chairing what we call a diversity council meeting, uh, where all the senior leadership of Allianz is there, and we'll be doing that. Uh, another day would be a day where we have a forum um, and we are spending three days um, out with you know, some of our high, high potential women. Other days are conducting workshops um, and other days are doing a lot of presentations and speaking engagements both inside and outside Allianz. A background, I was born in Malaysia and uh, I went to an Irish uh, missionary school. Uh, when I was really young. And then after that, I did economics and marketing, uh, studying both uh, internationally, but also in Malaysia. And from work experience side, when I started to work, I just said, you know, I just want to do something that's fun. Um, and that should be one of my major, you know, values uh, in life. And then I started with uh, just uh, working with children. So I was in a school that uh, taught children, there was a lot of fun, but then I got bored. And then I did some theater, so I wrote theater, produced theater. Uh, then I thought, well, now let's try business. So I went and worked for a Japanese firm, which was, uh, uh, you know, working with the luxury goods and stuff like that. So I did a lot of purchasing in that area. And then I went back to school to study a little bit more and came back and um, also went into, you know, uh, something a little bit more serious like insurance business. <laughs> And uh, this is when I realized that, uh, you know, insurance is also a business that is about making, you know, lives of people meaningful. 
and uh, and I stayed. And of course, I moved to many professions. Yeah, I joined Alliance in a temporary position. Uh, I was replacing someone who was on a maternity break, and uh, they liked me, and so they offered me a full time job. And then now it's twelve years with Alliance. I think for this position, you need to have an appreciation for differences and the experience with. Uh, living or working abroad or um, actually being exposed to people who are different. So it is a must in this position. Um, and um, I think in terms of skills, uh, soft skills, you do need to be able to relate to people. You need to be able to see, uh, you need to have a lot of, you know, values like respect and wanting to see that you know people are treated well in an organization and um, and and you must be looking for meaning in the work that you are doing and this is really important for my job <laughs>